Conventional mortgages, what are they? Are they a different product than they used to be? What are the rules around those today? All of that and more we're going to cover. Welcome, my name is Mike Rennick. I am the lead broker, the team leader, the um, senior broker with Team Rennick Real Estate Services, part of that great Keller Williams on the Water family. And welcome to the October 30th edition of the Mortgage Insider. I apologize for the late start. My guest today is Christopher Kiblin. Chris has been working all morning. He's remote and we've had technical um, difficulty after technical difficulty. Chris would not let go. He's, he worked hard and he came in just seconds before we were scheduled to go. So I'm very proud of him. So I'm gonna give him a little bit of introduction. Um, he claims to be a mortgage guy. I believe that he is, but he also is a good troubleshooter when it comes to laptops and internet and things like that. So let me just tell you a little bit about Chris. He has over 20 years experience in the finance and mortgage industry. He has fine-tuned his customer service skills to the highest levels. And that's what impresses me most about our extended partners, our mortgage folks, things like that. Chris is the best of the best. He offers Manatee and Sarasota County home buyers unbelievable service. So with that said, if I don't uh, make a mistake, I'm going to bring him in. And he, Chris, good morning. Good morning, Mike. How are you? I'm great. How are you doing? I just made it in a nick of time. I mean, it was it was fun, but hey, we made it work. You didn't <laughs> let the um, stress get a hold of you or anything. You did a great job. If you ever want a second career, think about computer repair and internet service. <laughs> we made it work. We figured it out. That's all that matters. <laughs> So today we're going to talk about conventional mortgages. Correct. Yeah, so last week we talked about FHA. So I figured it'd be a good topic for us to talk about conventional mortgages. So we kind of give you some of the highlights, the features and benefits of it. You know, kind of, you know, take there's some myths out there that I wanted to kind of, you know, let people know. Um, you know, a lot of people think that there is these um, you need certain credit scores or you need to put a certain amount down. And that's kind of what I wanted to talk about. You know, a lot of people, um, you know, they just don't realize when you're talking about conventional financing that you can actually go all the way down to a 620 credit score. Most people think you need like this excellent credit score, you know, in 700 to 800s to get a conventional mortgage, and that's not the case. You can actually go all the way down to 620. So, you know, it is a good way to still get into a conventional mortgage even with a lower credit score. So that's one thing that I wanted to talk about, but here's the biggest thing, the biggest myth that's out there. And I hear it quite um, often from even realtors and, and customers, you know, so many people think when you're doing a conventional mortgage, you have to put down 20% and that's not the case. You can do as little as 3% down for first time home buyer and you can do as little as 5% down if you are already existing home buyer. And what do I mean by first time home buyer? That means that you haven't owned a property in the last three years. So just because you owned a property 10 years ago and that you haven't owned anything in the last 10 years, you're considered a first time home buyer because you haven't owned anything in the last three years. So that's a little as 3% down. Um, if you've owned something in the last three years, you can put down as little as 5%. Now where the biggest thing comes from is everybody thinks that you need to put down 20% because of the mortgage insurance. So, which is the case, right? So if you don't want mortgage insurance, you need to put down 20%. However, once you, if you put down 5%, once you have 20% equity in the house, then you can um, lose your mortgage insurance. And that's the great thing about conventional mortgage because you know, it, you know, a lot of times with FHA, you don't have that option of getting rid of the mortgage insurance. You actually have to wait, um, or you have to resell. You have to um, so FHA, you have to get rid of, um, you know, refinance or sell the home. Not the case with conventional. Um, also, if you are putting in a contract and let's say you only have the 3% down your first time home buyer, you can ask the, um, the seller of the offer that you're putting in to uh, contribute towards 3% of the closing cost. So, you know, you could possibly get come in and do a conventional mortgage as little as 3% down and then have the seller pay for your closing costs and that's all you would need. Okay. So, and then also with those, um, the, one of the big things is also a big difference between FHA that we talked about last week and then conventional this week is the, um, the higher loan amount, okay? So basically with, when you do FHA, the loan amount, the max loan amount is 299,000. With conventional, you can go all the way up in our county up to 453,100. So it allows for a much higher loan amount and purchase price than if you were trying to go FHA. 
So like some of those are just some of the key features of what a conventional mortgage does. So that's pretty much it. So and we're getting a little feedback, I think, from our mic on your, on your laptop. I don't, I don't know if you can shut that. There we go. I think that's better. So really, I've got it all figured out. <laughs> In order to get the right product for each client, you need a mortgage expert to partner with. Does that make sense? Yes, you know, it's always one of those things and when I sit down and I and I look at everybody's options, you know, I mean, I'm going to give you several different options. I'm going to look at conventional, I'm going to look at FHA and I'm going to see what you fit, you best fit in, you know, and then go over those options with you. But at least this gives you some kind of an idea of what you can do. So the good news is it isn't the old traditional 20% down anymore. Um, rules are being relaxed. There's still guidelines that have to be met. But there's many different products somebody like you has to offer the client, correct? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, whether it's you want to do a renovation conventional loan, whether you know you want to do, you know, we have that. We have also we have some other um, different types of conventional loans that where it's um, gives you special um, interest rates and it gives you specials on the mortgage insurance. So there's so many programs out there that it's really key that you talk to somebody because, and then they can give you the best, you know, deal that's going to work for you. I think that's great advice. Anything else? I mean, Chris, another great job and what a great, great start. I, what folks don't know is that you and I were talking before we went live and uh, you were trying everything you can. I appreciate that. To, I, was to get car, I was in my car and then I found an office. So. <laughs> <laughs> another great job, Chris. Anything else to add? No, that's about it. If you just want to reach out to me, you can call me anytime. I'm always available. My cell phone number is 443-668-5727. Chris, I thank you. We'll see you next week for a smoother launch of the uh, Mortgage Insider. How does that sound? Sounds great. Talk to you soon. All right. Take care and thank you. All right. Bye-bye.